guys, Greg from Dream Potion Pythons. We thought we'd do something a little different today. My beautiful wife is stuck at work, um, and so she could not be a part of this vlog. So her and I were talking about it last night, and we thought, well, why don't we do spend the day with Gray and see what I'm up to on my days off and what I do to make Dream Potion Pythons work. So right now, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm getting ready to head off to see my barber, Josh, to take care of some of this mess up top here. So let's head out. So we're just outside Eagle and Onyx. That's where I get my hair cut. So I'm gonna head inside and see Josh Give you guys a quick before And then when I come back out, we'll do a nice after shot and move on with the day catch you on the flip All right guys, so an hour later and we're finally all done with the haircut We got the fresh war braids going on feeling great ready to get on with the rest of this day Gonna head out and get a cold drink and then head back to the house did stop and get a big old green tea frappuccino because it's like 95 degrees out in Tennessee today. And I'm not about that kind of heat. So I think I'm gonna spend most of the rest of the day in the air conditioning. I've got some babies I've gotta get put on our morph market, which is active by the way. In fact, by the time you're watching this, everybody we have available should be listed on there. So be sure to check that out. Dream Potion Pythons as always. But for now, why don't we go check out some snakes since this is a snake vlog. some awesome animals guys and I know that sounds slightly conceited because there are animals but man I never get tired of looking at them especially as Alini you know with that cool z-shaped head stamp she has it's actually where we got her name and then saying I just 
It's rare that you see green in a ball python, but that ghost gene working with his super enchi just gave him that nice green tint. Never get tired of looking at it. But anyway, I've got to finish getting those snakes on Morph Market like I mentioned. So I think I'm about to order up some lunch and then I'm going to sit back on the couch, maybe put a show on the TV and just finish up getting everything put on there. By the time you guys are watching this, everything should be up to date and everybody should be ready to be purchased. Okay guys, so I've just got a couple more animals to get up on Morph Market at this point. Um, just got to finish getting pictures up mainly. Pretty much everybody has an ad, we just need to get good photos up there for them. And that involves some scaling down because our file sizes are too big, blah blah blah. I won't bore you with the details of that, but I'm going to go ahead and cut things right around here. Um, it's really not much else to show of my day off. I'll pretty much sit here the rest of the day editing this vlog posting those photos and watching some Dragon Ball Super. Um, that's mainly what I do with my days off is just try to relax when I am back at my day job. It's a very high paced environment and to some degree high stress, not without reward, but it is high stress. And so to that effect, when I get days off, I definitely, you know, I squeeze every bit of relaxation out of them that I can, but it's been really fun showing you guys what I do day to day. I know this was a little bit different from what we usually do. We didn't show as much with the snakes and we didn't really dive deep into any genetics. We're going to do another video like this. I'll say within the next couple of days to the next week. I don't want to set an expectation that it'll be out in a couple of days and then we don't actually have it for a week. I also don't want to tell you guys, oh hey, it's going to be a week and then I'm done with it in a couple of days. So. Look out for that over the course of the next week. Um, and that video will actually be a little more from Alexis's perspective and what she does around here day to day with her days off and how she handles the snakes. As we kind of like to put it, Alexis is the brains and the beauty of what we do here at Dream Potion Pythons and I'm the business. She sort of handles all the genetics. She makes all the decisions with our projects, what we're gonna breed. I mean, there's some common ground on that. I have my own ideas that we're working towards as well but she really helps me to focus them in she's just got a lot more experience plus she's a biology student and a genetics student so she knows a little more in detail whereas I was a business student and so I kind of handle our social media our marketing everything you see here on YouTube is really facilitated by me at this point I do all the filming the editing um, and have made all the decisions with that and I think it's coming along well. We've really appreciated the support you guys have shown, the feedback you guys have given. I know a couple of you out there have said you wanted to see more content more frequently, and we've actually got some things in mind for how to make that happen. We've got one series that we had an idea for the other night that I think you guys will really like. Separate from these weekly vlogs that we do, this will be a, a different take on things um, so we're gonna be working to bring that to you within the next that one will definitely be within the next week or so we're gonna at least try to start filming it next week but it may be till the following week till it's all put together and ready to go because it's gonna take some extra work and some extra things on my part to make it as good as I can I'm always trying to improve our production value for these videos I'm always trying to make them better that's important to me because this is what I love to do so be on the lookout for that, as well as a video featuring Alexis doing a similar thing to what I did today, just showing what her day-to-day -day life is like. But, again, guys, cannot thank you enough for the overwhelming show of support between YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. It's just been awesome. You guys have been great to interact with, and we love all of it. Um, if you would, go down there and hit the like button. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button. We have more content coming all the time. We love sharing it with you guys. Um, we, we, it's what we live for each and every day. I can't stress enough that this is what we love to do is to raise these animals and then bring them to you and, and show them to you. So I'll quit rambling on and getting all mushy now, but I'm going to go back to Dragon Ball Super and finishing this stuff up. Thanks so much, guys. Again, Gray at Dream Potion Pythons. Y'all have a great week.